If you've ever wanted to switch from iPhone to Android but don't want to risk losing your data, that's perfectly understandable. And thankfully Google gets it too, because recently it launched a switch to Android app. And just like Apple's app that lets you move data from your Android phone to your iPhone, this will let you do it the other way around wirelessly. And thanks to a recent Google Play services update, you can now actually use it, as long as you have an Android 12 phone. I'm Cam Bunton from Pocketlint, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Switch to Android app. Now before starting this, I will say it is better to transfer using a cable. I'll explain a bit more about why in a second, but if you'd like to skip ahead to the better, faster, wired method, you can. I'll leave a chapter in the timeline below, and you can just click on it to get to that bit straight away. But the first step for the new wireless method is obvious. You need to download the Switch to Android app onto your iPhone. At this moment in time, it doesn't actually show up in the search when you head to the App Store and look for it. However, I'll leave a direct link in the description box down below. Open that app and allow any permissions it requires to work. Make sure you tap to accept the terms of service and hit start. Now you'll see a screen with a camera viewfinder for scanning a QR code. Leave your iPhone there for now. Next up, your new Android phone. So this service is designed for people who want to switch to a brand new Android phone. There's no app to install on the Android phone, instead it's part of the initial setup process. What's more, your new phone has to be running Android 12 or later, as well as the latest version of Google's Play services. Now some manufacturers don't include this as part of the setup process, so you'll soon find out if your phone will accept this method or not. If you've got your new Android phone, just power it on and make your way through the setup process. Log into Wi-Fi and then get to the part asking if you'd like to copy data from an old phone. Tap next at the bottom. At this point, it'll tell you to grab your iPhone's cable. If it doesn't, this method won't work on your Android phone. As mentioned, you can use a cable and I'll go through that process later because really that is the best way to do it. But for now, we're showing the newer wireless capability. So now tap the option that says no cable at the bottom of the screen. And now you'll see a pop-up that says copy another way and tap continue. You'll now see the wireless data transfer screen. If you don't, it likely means you have an older version of Play Services. So in this case, skip through all the rest of the setup process and then check in the settings app to see if there are any software updates waiting. If there are, download and install them and then factory reset the phone and start this process again from the beginning. However, if it does show up, tap the switch from iPhone or iPad label. On the next screen, allow it to access your new phone's location and next sign in to your Google account. Keep hitting next until you get to the screen with the QR code on it. Now pick up your iPhone and open the switch to Android app where you left it and scan the QR code on the Android phone's screen. Now tap join to connect wirelessly to the phone's Wi-Fi. If it fails at first, just keep trying. We had to do it a couple of times before it took. You'll get a pop-up saying it needs permission to connect to devices on your local network. Tap OK. Then the app needs access to your data, so hit continue, and then allow it to access your contacts, calendars, and photos. Then it'll show a spinning logo and say it's getting ready to copy. The next stage is selecting which files and data you want to transfer across. And this is where you see the wireless services limitations. It only offers the ability to transfer contacts, calendar events, photos, and video. If you go the cabled route and connect them with a cable, you get much more, including old apps. But if these four are the only data you need, hit continue and wait for the transfer to complete. While it's doing that, you can continue to set up your Android phone as it pulls the data through in the background, and you'll get to the copying your data screen, and that's it. Just wait for the data to transfer, and it'll finish on its own, and you're done. As promised, I'm now going to show you the better wired transfer method. For this method, you don't have to have the Switch to Android app on your iPhone at all. You just need your iPhone, a Lightning to USB-C cable, and the Android phone that you want to transfer data to. I will say this as a tip to begin with though, make sure both phones are fully charged before you start this process, otherwise your iPhone will start to steal battery juice from your new Android phone. Like the wireless version, you go through the new phone setup process until you get to the screen that asks if you want to copy data from your old phone. When you see the screen that says use your old device, hit next, then grab that lightning to USB-C cable. Keep hitting next and work through the steps. So plug in the lightning end into your iPhone, the USB-C end into your Android phone, and then on your iPhone you'll get a pop-up asking you to trust the new device. Click the trust option and then enter your PIN or passkey. From this point on it's pretty straightforward. 
keeping both phones connected, go through the rest of the setup process on your Android phone, sign into your Google account, and then continue through the steps until you see the screen that says it's getting ready to copy. If you have a lot of stuff on there, this can take some time. My own iPhone took about 30 or 35 minutes just to detect what was on the phone before the copying process began. Once it's found everything, you can then select what you want to copy and continue deselecting things that you don't need and selecting those that you do. So if you want to save a lot of time, you can use Google Photos backup service on your iPhone to back up all your photos and you'll get instant access to them on your new Android phone. So you don't have to bother copying all of those across. Now just start the copying process and wait until it's done. And that's how you copy your data from iPhone to Android. I've been Cam. If you found this video useful, please do leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please do use the comments down below or you can get me on Twitter. I'm at CamBunton. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.